Hello Aquarius, this is Barb with Mystic Door Tarot and this is your monthly tarot reading for September 2023. Thank you so much. If you already subscribed to the channel, welcome back. And if you are new to my channel, welcome. And if you enjoy the reading, please consider subscribing and give it a thumbs up. So Aquarius, take what resonates, leave the rest, and let's just jump into your reading. This is going to be um, for each week in the month of September. And before I forget, I have a tendency to forget. Let's take a look at your crystal for the month is Cinnabar. And I actually, actually have Cinnabar close by. There you go. Okay. In regards to business, so for some of you, th this is going to be um, a change in business in some manner. So first week here, we're first going to look at your tarot cards for the entire month, and then we're going to go back week by week. So first week in September, you have the Two of Cups. Beautiful card. Second week, the Seven of Swords. Third week, Palace of Coins. That's kind of, um, there's four or five bonus cards in this deck, and this is one of them. And the last week, you have the Priestess. Okay. All right. Well, going back to your first week in September. Two of Cups can refer to partnerships. It doesn't always have to be love partnerships. It can be business partnerships. And that's kind of what I'm picking up the most for some of the Aquarians out there. But this is some kind of partnership, union, connection. Something that is um, showing up this first week in September. And it, with this energy showing up, a decision has to be made is what I'm picking up. So let's look at your clarifying card. Okay, three of wands. It's an energy of telling you to get moving, Aquarius. Um, making some long-term plans. As we see on the card here, um, the ships are now sailing. This has got an energy to it where there's no turning back. So... Aquarius, if you've been kind of on the fence about getting engaged or being uh, more committed in a relationship, either moving in together, getting engaged, setting a wedding date, or I'm picking up for some Aquarians, this could even be in regards to starting a family. Definitely making some long-term plans and you're setting things in motion and there's no turning back. So, yeah. There's something uh, coming together, you know, kind of like uh, kicking off the month of September here with this three numerology where something is definitely coming together, whether it's uh, in regards to business, personal relationships, some kind of connection. It could also be your connection, your spiritual self, where you're making a choice or a decision that really has long lasting effects. So let's look at your tea leaf uh, fortune card. It says, staff, you will be taken care of in difficult times. So staff, wand energy here, the same as with the, um, the three of wands. And, and look at the one that, that this individual is holding. Certainly looks like a staff. So um, whatever you're venturing into, you have protection. You have um, blessings and guidance. Now, the staff in the tea leaf deck is um, a very um, used and worn old staff. 
So this is um, really an indication that you are now going to be watched over. It's worn out by constant use. So there's kind of um, what I'm gonna say like an unseen guidance that's gonna be watching over you for whatever it is you're venturing into. What, no matter if it's a, a relationship or a business partnership or um, some other plans that you're um, kicking off for the month of September. It's uh, definitely um, like a thumbs up, go for it kind of energy. Now going into the second week here, you have the Seven of Swords. Now, Seven of Swords does have, uh, it gets a bad rap. Um, it doesn't always mean that there, there's people working against you behind your back. Um, what I pick up with the Seven of Swords is a, a very proactive approach to whatever it is that you're deciding here that's kicking off like the first week. Seven of Swords is coming up with a strategy, a plan for what it is that you're possibly setting in motion the first week in September. And don't, even though I broke it down into weeks, don't get hung up on the timeline. This is all things that can interchange this whole month. So Seven of Swords is some kind of strategy or plan that you are uh, putting into place for this month. Seven is... Uh, not only a spiritual number for those of you that are really uh, tapping into and, and taking your spirituality uh, to the next level, because that could be what the Two of Cups represents for you. But seven is also an indication of challenges that are along the way that you don't have any control over. And you've already been blessed with the staff card that you're gonna be taken care of in difficult times. So not to be afraid to go ahead, start a family, not to be afraid to go ahead, move across country if you're taking a new job. You know, go ahead, proceed with your plans because you're being watched over, you're being guided. But in the second week, you are coming up with a strategy on um, how you want to go about with uh, what the Two of Cups represents for you. So I'm going to take a look at the clarifying card. And you have judgment. Now, first thing that, that comes blaring at me, not the horn, but the numerology, the 20 in the judgment card, it's in regards to um, like teamwork. So definitely can be in regards to if you're going into business with someone, a partnership with someone in so, some way. Um, for some of you, I'm picking up being on a committee for a, a common uh, cause, something you're really interested in. Judgment is about, you know, stepping up and hearing the call. You're going where you're needed to go. So definitely can be maybe starting up a home-based business, a second source of income for some of you. For others, it could be hooking up with someone uh, maybe that you knew in the past. Hooking up with someone to obtain a new job, maybe having to uh, move to a new place. This is long-term plans that's being initiated this month of September for you, Aquarius. So it's about stepping up and realizing there's some serious change coming in, serious um, opportunities being made available. Let's see your tea leaf card message. Haystack karma. You will reap what you have sown. Okay. Not to worry. As if you put out good energy, you're going to get that in return. Now, I do feel there might be a possible connection between these two cards. You're going to be taking a proactive approach to avoid any... Um, any difficulties. And since these cards are next to each other, 
you're protected by the you know facing difficulties but you're putting out good energy Aquarius that's what you're going to get in return now the third week in September you have the palace of coins and the palace cards in this deck is like an extended uh, court card this is um the material world and this is where all the people of the court go to and this one in particular is like home for them this is uh material pleasure security wealth it's the coins the pentacles so in this third week something is going to I, I feel like something's coming together and by the third week it's going to feel like this is what I meant to do this is who I've meant to be with the time is right maybe um, you're really feeling at home now in regards to the idea and what you're hooking up with in this uh, at the beginning of the month let's take a look at your clarifying card okay the hierophant well, Hierophant can represent uh, the tried and true traditions, being conventional. It can be, um, for some of you, you might be purchasing your first home. I'm picking up for some of you. Entering into, um, this, this is, uh, you know, prime real estate here. And something that when you uh, first step into the home to view it, it you get that feeling, Aquarius, that it is absolutely feels like home. Now, for others, certainly, uh, whatever you're teaming up with, um, this could be with a group, um, certainly, um, you know, a partner, it could be relationships. There's something that is coming together this month, Aquarius, where it's it's going to feel like home, like like minded people. If it's if it's joining a new group of people, whether it's community or an activity, it's going to feel very stable and like home. Now, the Hierophant five energy, that's kind of a difficult energy because it is um, it's it, it's an energy that shakes things up. So I almost feel that some of you, um, this is really something that's long lasting. So some of you are worried by the third week, going into that third week, that you might be having second thoughts. That could be actually in regards to purchasing a home. It's going to be up to you to make that decision, Aquarius. Does it feel like home or are you just rushing into whatever this energy represents for you are you just rushing into a relationship to be in a relationship or are you rushing to get a new job just to have a new job or it could be a large purchase that you're making so definitely um something is um shaking up where you're second guessing yourself is what i'm picking up so let's look at your tea leaf card tulip great passion okay well this is very um the emotions will be at an all-time high so very much i can see if you're trying to get um a, a particular home real estate i did pick up real estate here um you're going after a particular place that you want to live uh you know great passion in regards to obtaining it it's going to be, uh, whether you succeed or not, is going to be based on your strategy, your game plan, and also your karma. You know, what comes around goes around. So, interesting. Um, you could actually be changing up your beliefs. in regards to possibly where you want to live or what you want to be doing or who you want to be with. But this is a card of feeling at home with either um, in your relationships, your job. There's something that is changing here. 
you're setting uh, long-term plans in action, making a decision where it has a ripple effect. You have a strategy, a goal in mind, and by the time you get to going into the second half of September, you're, you're just going to feel really great because it, it just feels right. So last week in September, you have the priestess. And this is possibly um, unforeseen things popping up. Remember, we did have the uh, seven energy here with the seven of swords. Seven is things that can pop up, challenges, things like that, that um, you don't have any control over. So with the priestess here, this is all about following your gut instincts. And I think you're doing that um, in this second week where you're putting, you're being proactive and putting as much as you can into place to ward off any surprises. And in the last week here, it's really about trusting your gut instincts. There might be something coming in that um, had been working behind the scenes. You weren't made yet aware of it. It might be a pleasant surprise, Aquarius, um, but trust your gut instincts on this one, you know, this last week. Let's clarify here. Let's see what we got. Okay, the lovers. This is all based on your choice or decision. Trust that, okay, my guides are giving me the trust that you're making the right decision at the beginning of September. By the time you get to the end, you're going to feel quite at home. You're going to feel that you followed your intuition and it uh, gave you the right choices. You made the right decisions. You're going to feel right at home by the end of the month. And your tea leaf card, rooster, an arrogant, boastful person. You should not cross. Wow. Well, for some of you, this is definitely going to have something to do with if you're purchasing real estate, there's going to be somebody who you're just going to have to lay low. Somebody that you would like to give them a piece of your mind, but don't. Because everything is riding on uh, being playing the diplomat, Aquarius. So you're just going to have to ride it out with whoever this person is. Trust your gut instincts. Could be someone that you're dealing with. Uh, if you're trying to obtain a loan, how they're coming across rubs you the wrong way. But just um, smile and, um, you know, get through the process as quickly as possible. Now, this is where I feel the Cinnabar crystal, um, Cinnabar is excellent for good luck in business. This could be negotiations. This could certainly be in regards to buying real estate. So if you do have Cinnabar, be sure you're carrying it with you uh, for the month of September, especially if you're house hunting, you're trying to get into a home. Do not do it out of desperation. Only Go into buying a home if it feels right and if the situation is right and the finances are right. Now I'm going to pull one more card here. Um, I'll give you a moment to think about a question that you might have in regards to the um, month of September. So let's see. It's going to be um, probably kind of geared more towards a yes or a no uh, kind of question, but we'll see what we get with the cards. So um, think of your your question and let's see what's coming through for Aquarius. Oh, a year from now. Okay, well, if you're thinking about purchasing a home, it might be best to wait. Wow. But if I remember correctly, this card uh, does indicate uh, that whatever it is you're asking about will occur within this year. So we only have four more months. So it's not 12 months. It uh, most likely will um, take place within the next four months. So be sure to stay optimistic. Continue to, um, you know with your uh, your plans, being proactive. 
Uh, there's something where there's free will choices are involved and the angels are currently uh, working behind the scenes. Uh, that's definitely what I'm picking up here with the priestess card. There's things going on uh, behind the scenes that you can't really see. So certainly trust your gut instincts, Aquarius, uh, this month of September. Definitely in regards to something that you're putting together. Either it's relationship, a new job, a new place to live, a project. It can be, uh, it's a general reading, so it could be any of those things. Uh, but not a whole year from now, I do see that it could very well be coming into uh, focus and play for you by the end of 2023. So, all right, Aquarius, thank you so much for joining me today. Please be sure to subscribe and like the video and visit my website if you'd like to continue with a more in-depth private reading. Love and abundance to my Aquarius family.